And a disturbing case unfolds in court. A mother accused of ordering her son to commit murder in a West Pullman restaurant. The mother and son are now charged, both of them. Elizabeth Matthews joins us now with more on this developing story. Elizabeth? Yeah, Natalie, that mom who's accused of giving those shoot-to-kill orders is now being held on $3 million bail. Parts of that shooting were actually captured on this restaurant's surveillance video, which helped the witnesses identify the suspects to police. So this all happened Sunday night, police tell us, just after 11 o'clock, about 11.05 p.m. 35-year-old Carlisha Hood and her 14-year-old son arrived at the Maxwell Street restaurant on South Halstead at 117th. Hood went in for food. Her son waited in the car. Prosecutors say that's when she began arguing with this man, 32-year-old Jeremy Brown, who was also inside ordering food at the time. Hood, Hood began texting her son, who appeared in the doorway, hands in his pockets. A fight became physical between Hood and the victim. The victim was able to punch the woman once. That's when prosecutors say the boy pulled out a gun, fired a single shot to the victim's back, followed him outside, kept firing, striking him fatally twice in the back. Once outside of the restaurant, while the co-defendant was still shooting at the victim, the defendant instructed her son, the co-defendant, to continue to shoot and kill the victim. Once the co-defendant finished shooting the victim, the defendant turned her focus towards witness one. She began pointing at witness one and instructing her son to shoot her. Prosecutors say the hood even tried to get the gun from her son, but he pushed her away. No shots were fired at that witness, who is also the victim's girlfriend. Both mother and son facing murder charges. She's also charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The teen boy also facing unlawful use and possession of a firearm. Both were told did surrender themselves to police yesterday. We're also told that Hood, the woman charged in this, the mom charged in this, also had a FOID card herself and was licensed to conceal carry. Reporting live was with Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago. I don't know how many of y'all seen this story. Mother and son went to get something to eat. Mother gets in an argument with another customer. Customer ends up punching the mother. Son kills him, right? Now, this is why I don't watch the news. Shh, I don't wanna curse, but stuff like this is the reason why I don't watch the news. The news reports shit with a bias. It's never facts. It usually, it's, matter of fact, it's usually 20% facts, 80% dramatization. 20% facts, 80% dramatization. It's just like they're writing a, a freaking movie. Half of these movies you look at that they say it's a true story, the news do the same thing. They need some entertainment value. They need to put some type of... of spin on it and tell us instead of telling what really happened and if they don't have the facts of what really happened they make it up they make it up so y'all heard that right y'all heard what they said y'all heard because when i first seen this i'm like what she told her son to kill this man it's some evil people out there my mind started going i'm like damn bro it might have been like an ex-boyfriend or something like that's just these females is crazy. You gonna lose? You gonna use your son to get revenge? It's a, and I know I wasn't the only person that was thinking like that. Two days after this story started going crazy, a lady dropped the video on Facebook, and I want y'all to see. I want y'all to look at this video and think about the new story that you just watched. You heard that? Get in the car. Did y'all hear that? Let's bring it back. I'll bring it back for y'all. Get in the car. This is actual footage of what was going on. She didn't order her son to kill this man. She told her son to get in the car. Get in the car. Y'all made this woman out to be some 
evil ass person when she she just told her son to get in the car. Now I don't know about y'all, but if I go someplace with my mother, my father, my aunt, my wife, and I see a grown ass man putting his hands on my mother, on my aunt, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll do the same thing. This is why the news is dangerous, man. You can't believe everything you hear on the news, bro. They have a... I ain't no conspiracy theorist about the news having an agenda, but just report the facts. How do y'all feel about this? I want to know. How do y'all feel about this? Do y'all feel as though the son was justified in defending his mother? Was it a justified shooting? Because at the end of the day, like, the dude that got killed... I believe he had kids. He had like two daughters or something like that. Which is amazing to me that he had two daughters and felt that comfortable to put his hands on a, on a female. That's amazing to me. But how do y'all feel about this? I know this is kind of different from the content that I usually make, but I was bothered by this, bro. I was bothered with the news story I seen and the news that was circling around about this whole situation. And then when I actually saw the footage of what happened... It bothered me. It brought back memories from when I lived in Brooklyn. When I lived, when you live in the inner city, you're exposed to certain things. So I was ex I was exposed to a few incidents that happened to make it to the news, and what the news reported and what actually happened. Two different stories. What the news reported and what actually happened was two different stories. I I will say this right. This is how I conclude this video, because. As somebody who gets in front of a camera and talk and give my opinion and stuff, I do have a level of responsibility because the things I say can make an impression. I pride myself in just being myself. I pride myself in not coming on here as one of those YouTubers who trying to get an algorithm and trying to like blend in and I, I pride myself on that bro like but I want y'all to understand that just how the news can lead you with misinformation so can content creators on these different social media platforms all right I know this might take a turn but it's the truth just how the news can lead you so can your favorite youtuber your favorite Instagram creator, your favorite person on Facebook. So you have to be very careful with the the information that you allow your subconscious to digest. You have to be very, very careful with the people you decide to spend your free time with. I'm happy that some of y'all spend y'all free time with me watching my videos, you know, laughing at the things that I find crazy, cringy. But even with that, even me, I have to take a a break sometimes with some of the shit I react to. Because I don't want that shit to be in my subconscious.